Look who's finally back. Yay! Yeah. Bill made it back here. How you feeling now that you're finally... I, I'm fine. Can you tell them where you were since you weren't in the last two videos? Uh, no, so I got uh, hit by the, the coronavirus. <laughs> I stayed home and uh, aggravated the wife for a little bit. But uh, I'm back to 100%, back to work, and uh, out flying with Chris again. And uh, so today we're going to do a little bit of higher performance aircraft. We're going to take it back over to Palm Springs. The girls wanted some food from Sherman's, quite the famous deli. I think you'll like that if you ever stop in there. A little bit of snow because it rained here and the higher altitudes were above the freezing level. So we're going to do some mountain transitions and uh, some, some pretty cold weather on the way over. We'll talk about that as we get through here. But uh, welcome aboard. So we're going to head out. We're going to pre, we already pre-flighted. We're going to do engine run up and then take off. I'm not going to show you all guys that stuff, but we'll definitely see them when we get up in the cruise headed out over the mountains. So come on. altitude here at 900,000. We are uh, going to be crossing over some mountain peaks here, which is what he's going to be up shortly. I just wanted to give a special shout out to all the new subscribers that came to the actually since the last video I posted with Adam. Hope you guys are showing some love to their own clothing company as well that I posted a link in the description with a discount code. Help support them, small uh, family business, great people. And, uh, and I love their clothes since I'm wearing their shirts. So we just got to get Bill one here. So uh, we got a few minutes to spare. Bill's going to talk to you guys about mountain flying and stuff. And then uh, we'll talk to you guys on the ground at Palm Springs. So I'll take it over to you. All right, uh, here we go. It's, um, it's a day out here, some high over... But, uh, oh, 10,000 feet above us is the overcast layer. Coming up on some uh, a pretty good mountain ridge that kind of goes between uh, where we live in San Diego, the San Andreas Fault, which runs right up the Coachella Valley. Chris is going to show you some pictures of snow off to our left, um, but we're cognizant of uh, wind up here as we approach the mountain ridges. San Diego, um, as you can see, uh, we'll get a little bit of a push over there and specify the wind based on whether you're on the side of the ridge, you're on leeward or windward side. Uh, so we're going to cross over there. It's usually a little bit bumpy crossing over. We got. A couple thousand feet above uh, the terrain. We just want to make sure that uh, we're well clear and if we have uh, any bumps, we have enough altitude to cover from uh, a little bit of a loss. Also get some updrafts uh, as you come up to or, or cross over. But mountain flying is uh, is kind of complicated. Uh, it makes it hard to find a place to land. If you, so we look for roads and, and uh, flat areas. We watch uh, for uh, getting close to a, a, a place. Where, uh, also, if you uh, lose your engine and you uh, are out here and there's not a lot of population, uh, we're kind of careful to make something to eat and drink. We have something that make a fun uh, and call for help if we need to do that. Anyway, mountain flying complicated, uh, just as complicated as an uh, airplane. Lots going on, lots to pay attention to. So Bill's on the phone with Sherman's, the deli we're going to, which is just right down the road. And we're going to pick up the food, come back here and take off. But look at this view. Like the mountains are just covered. There's probably feet worth of snow up there. But the good thing is, is it's really warm here in Palm Springs. It feels great. It's like 70. And there's plenty of really nice jets here as well. Yeah. Anybody want any of these? For $100, they said they'd let us take any one we want, so I, I don't think anyone will mind. Yes, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have a loaf of full rye, two pickles, a pint of cold spa, a sherbet salad, extra dressing on the side, and one pound of cold sashimi, one pound of cold party. Yes, ma'am, yes. Got it, thank you, thank you. Nothing broken. So I haven't told them yet, and I didn't record it, but 
I think Adam would be super proud. Were you proud of the landing? I thought it was oh. not bad. Oh, this is what you make videos about, that <laughs> landing. And I didn't put it on there either. He had a, a downdraft and a tailwind <laughs> and he nailed it. He was a big help. I couldn't have done half that flight if it wasn't for him. It's a lot of work in that plane with all of the management of the systems, talking to air traffic, trying to talk about our mountain flying, which we'll finish that up on the way back. We just got a little bit overloaded with work and coming in here. So we're gonna go grab our food. What did we get? We got one of everything. The girls ordered everything. Good, we'll show you what it is. It's really good. If you guys are ever in Palm Springs, anybody that watches this, this place is, he's the one that told me about it. It's totally worth it. Hey, don't get an Uber. I forgot, Amex gives me credit on my card and I never use it. For what? For Uber. I got, I get like $30 every month and we never use it. So let me just do it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never use this. It goes to waste every single month. Right. How you doing? Good, thank you. So it sh says your driver's on the way, arriving in 17 minutes. So we had to order an Uber because they don't have a courtesy car which they sometimes do, but it's first come, first serve basis. It's Sunday, it's nice, so not surprised it's not here. And Alicia's calling. <laughs> hey, do you want to be in the video? I don't know what, Chris? You're on, the, you're on the video right now. In the video? Yeah, they only hear your voice through audio and never have seen your face. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hey, can you put my dad on really quick? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you don't want to talk to him. <laughs> So a little bit different video today. This isn't typically what we do, flying airplanes, going places, but I figured I'd show you guys something a little different because it gets monotonous showing us taking off and landing all the time. And uh, hopefully it's entertaining. We are just sitting waiting for the Uber. Bill and Gina are actually trying to sell their car so they can buy a new one. So he's dealing with that on the phone right now. And we'll be at the restaurant shortly. Love the mountains though. Hey, I was telling them, you remember when we came, or I didn't tell them, when we came out here a couple of years ago and rode the tram to go up there? Oh, yeah, I do remember. You remember that? that? Yeah. So. At-risk hiker. Yeah. He was called an at-risk hiker. His son was with us. Him and I were trucking along. The snow got so deep that it was like up to our knees. Right. It was, it was 90 degrees here on the ground. <laughs> The snow was up to the top of your knees. You had to trudge through it. It was tough. I mean, I, I've been up that mountain. I've been up there a handful of times, and that was by far the hardest hike I've ever done. And we never even made it to the top. No. And then when we came back down, we were all slipping and sliding because it was all <laughs> ice all the way down. Yeah, it so, was, although it was a blast. Though. It was. It was fun. So Those are the biggest pine cones I've ever seen up there. I think it's the lack of oxygen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Of course, everything's bigger. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. We're just going down to Sherman's Deli just to pick up an order and come right back here. Okay. Okay, how, how mad do you think they'd be if we ate the food before we got there? Look, I don't know how long you've been married to your <laughs> wife, but I've been married to my wife long enough to know that would be bad. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Bill, yep. Yes, just going right back to uh, the airport. Yep, signature. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Drop off Bill. Already is good? Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you so uh, much. Have a nice rest of your day. Thank you. Be safe, okay? Yeah. 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 I'll settle up with them at the counter. Yep. I got it. I got it. I'm going to take care of our parking fee and everything and stuff. If this guy behind me makes a big issue. Don't let him pay. 
be difficult. Thank you. Uh, you are way too nice. Way too nice. Have a good rest of your <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. That's not what I told you to do. What are you talking about? <laughs> Which one? Which one? Oh. I don't know. They're all really good options. That one's probably got the highest mock speed, the Citation 10. I'm sure we can figure it out, right? I know I could get it airborne. <laughs> yeah. After that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think the systems might be a bit complicated. Yeah, it's, it might be. it's been a year or two since I've flown anything that complicated. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I forgot this. Might not smell great. Let's see. There's really no good place to... It kind of smells like fuel inside here, so it's not exactly... I'll light a match and see if there's any leaking fuel. Yeah. We're gonna get this thing going, pre-flight it, get in the plane. We'll see you guys back up in the air and we take off. UPS 932, on Everybody, we picked up our food. Food was nice enough to not only pay for the yeah, food, but pay for contact. our parking there, uh, even though the guy was really nice. Today. And he actually did uh, purchase, because we were only there for yeah, one. Yeah, we just, it was a quick, really, really quick turn compared to last time. 625 good day. Put on here, let us make a call. One zero Fox shot contact, so There you go, you're hot. All right. He's gotten real good at his radio calls. So, okay, good afternoon, 62 Pops with you, uh, 8500. We're headed for uh, Montgomery VFR flight following. 2462 two, Papa, SoCal Montgomery, it is Bravo. Wind 320 at 5, is ability 10, skies clear, altimeter 3008, runway 28 right, and you cleared in 2, Bravo, airspace. So we were looking for. All right, into Bravo, thank you for that, 62 uh, Pop 3008 for 28 right. SoCal. Best in the business, baby. I gotta tell you, busiest Tracon in the, in the world. We have never gotten bad service from them. Yep. We just have not. Look at this. Uh, you can see the islands out there. You see the ocean? Two about oh, 32 yeah, o'clock. Yeah, yeah. San Clemente. Okay, let's take a look here. Good. And so Chris scans the uh, instruments every once in a while. It's kind of a good cadence to do to watch the inside the airplane. Make sure that uh, everything looks good. So we're, we talk more about um, the engine and the engine. We do actually plane. the plane. It's on autopilot right now. That kind of keeps us at our altitude, 8,500 feet. And on the heading that we time to look around on the inside. We're right over some snowy mountains right now. A couple little bumps uh, as we, uh, the leeward to the windward side of the uh, mountains. And we're just traversing now flight plan shows us oh, about 2,200 feet above the highest peak. We're happy with that. Uh, and we'll, once we get over this uh, next bump ahead, we'll start a slow deep. Uh, we're already talking to air traffic control. Matter of fact, we've been talking to them all the time. They keep an eye on us, only for efficiency. But anyway, uh, we'll talk to you on the descent here in just a couple minutes and uh, enjoying the flight back to um, by the way, before we let them go, too, Adam, you'd be super proud. My landing in Palm Springs. I couldn't have been any better, but it was with your help that I was able to do that, because of everything you told me, I worked on, practiced, and ran it through my head over and over. So, Bill helped uh, keep an eye on everything, and I, you have to speak for it, because I have no video proof. But we're going to film going into uh, Montgomery here, so you guys can how that goes, because this is a bit more challenging. It's a shorter runway, not as wide, and... Uh, you gotta be on your game. And I'm gonna tell you, Chris, as long as you give me that hundred bucks, I am gonna stick with that story about the landing. I know, I owe him money now, and then I owe Adam 500 bucks, so. Oh boy. Ash is just raining down. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Because he wanted us to slow down and we don't see this guy. Okay, guys, we're inbound on the ILS 28 right, even though it's VFR. We've been told to continue. We're following a meridian somewhere out here on a right base. The right and out here. We're inbound on the ILS 28 right, even though it's VFR. We've been told to continue. We're following a meridian somewhere out here on a right base. The right out here. We'll see him yet. So we've been told to slow down. We're just getting configured for land. Trying to help the tower out as much as we can. Am out there yet? 
Oh. Archer 405, Charlie Here. Alpha. Oh, that's Marine. an Archer. Uh, Roger, oh, yeah, he's four, further three, out. Nine, two, four, six, two, Papa, number two, follow that Meridian. They're midfield right down. Runway 28 right, clear to land. Got him. Right, I got the, him. Uh, Meridian 62, Papa, clear to land. The white lights just to the west of Miramar's runway that yes. are light. Back and forth. I believe that's him. I'm we can go wide if we have yeah, I think we're going to be fine. He's turning base now. Hey, we've been cleared to land a follow traffic taxi. Uh, Lake 75, Lima, Montgomery, Montgomery, turn, make left traffic. Right, flaps fuller as prop, uh, high RPM. Yep. Lake 75, Lima. No less than 65. Behind that, that's not a straight in, runway 28 left. Now I'm hand flying. Behind him, then straight in for 28 left, 405, Charlie. Well, for some reason, my altitude didn't capture correctly, so. Montgomery, Tower, 216, Charlie, Alpha, holding short, 28 left, ready for westbound departure. And 62 Papa, where's the Malibu now? Got in 62 Papa, you're number one, they're touching down. Got him, thanks. On the runway. Blink, blink at the... Jump. Got it, okay. Yeah, you're on speed now. I'll help you get down a little. Yeah, I know, that's... The power out, my nose is pointed way. Archer 405, Charlie Alpha, runway 28 left, good line. There we go, you got it back. Lake 15 Lima, that's the Archer, is uh, 12 to 11 o'clock, and about 2 miles, indicating 1,400. Still searching, sorry about that, Lake 15 Lima. Still 170 at the fence. Got him, Lake 15 Lima. A little slow. Minimum, minimum. Archer 5 bar mic, runway 28 left, clear to land. Uh, 28 left, clear to land, 5 bravo mic. There's gonna be a touch and go. Archer 5 bar mic, roger, runway 28 left, clear, touch and go on the go, left traffic, traffic one mile final, north runway, Archer. Look at traffic, fiber mic. Lake 15 Lima, follow the Archer, number 2, runway 28 left, clear to land. To land, number 2, 28 left, Lake 15 Lima. Freeline 62 Papa, turn left at Mike, cross runway 28 left, and contact ground. 62 Papa, left at Mike, cross 28 left, and contact ground. Adam, I hope you're proud. I actually did okay, but I was a little slow. A final approach speed. We Wait, got the cross. Eight, right? Okay to cross 28 left. Cross 28 left. Look left anyway. Wait. Clear left. Wait, right. Just get on the other side here, and then uh, we'll, we'll clean the plane up. Yep. I'm going to bring the flaps up so you can see. Montgomery Tower, November 845, Julia Romeo inbound with Charlie, 13 miles to the north for uh, touch and go. Make right traffic, runway 28 right. Uh, uh, flaps up, one cowl two. open. Cowl flaps open. Robes off. Robes off, we'll do landing light off. Taxi light on. Go heat off. Heat off. off. Trim, stake off. For takeoff, I'll suppose. Trim up. Okay. Transponder to standby. Under to standby, and we'll secure at the ramp. Ground 6 to Pop City, a clear golf one for Gibbs. Good evening. Skyline, November 2462 Pop of Montgomery Ground, Texas Gibbs via Hotel Juliet. Hotel Juliet uh, to Gibbs, thank you guys. Cleared in all the way to the ramp. Yep, clear right. Well, everybody, turned out okay. I wasn't able to figure out the uh, autopilot for the approach portion. I think I messed something up because it, uh, it turned onto the final and then descending and then it didn't capture the rest of the uh, glide slope down so I think I did something wrong with the autopilot for the coupled approach. More to learn. We never stop learning in this job and speak of the devil, wife is calling, wants to know where her food is. <laughs> I don't think we're, eh, we're a little late but no. They're, they're not calling to see if we landed safe. Right. They're calling to see where the food is. Yes. We'll show you a little video when we get to the house and uh, start cooking everything to see what it looks like. Maybe you want to go there one day. So thanks for coming along. Hope you found it interesting. We'll did a good job with uh, mountain flying and stuff. Hopefully you get some good information out of that. I guess we'll wait for our next adventure. Until we might try to go back to Big Bear. I'll wind it. Hey, look, we must go back to Big Bear. Yeah, they got like a couple of feet of snow up there. So yeah, what, what's Big Bear without snow? I know. All right, we'll see you guys at the house for some food and uh, ending of the video here. Remember, if you uh, enjoy this stuff, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe. That helps us out. We'll give us the ability to give you guys more content. Hopefully you find it educational. We'll see you on the next one.